here with Anthony Kirkland at the um, uh, Arts, Commerce, and Visitor Center after two, uh, Wednesday afternoon's announcement. Mr. Kirkland, first off, your position is? I'm the district director with the USDA Rural Development Business Program. Okay, and the money, 50, Wells County received $50,000 for use in a revolving loan fund. Explain where the money came from and, and how uh, the USDA uh, intends it to be used, if you might. Okay, well, this is money that's basically given by the federal government, and it's basically the intent and the purpose of the funds is to be able to establish revolving loan funds here in Wells County, to be able to help small and emerging business to be able to have access to capital. Okay, and uh, is there, is, does your agency maintain any kind of oversight then? I mean, you know, just to make sure it's going where it's supposed to go. Uh, yes, we do. We will be uh, on an annual basis uh, checking with the, the chamber here and with the EDC uh, to make sure that the funds are being used uh, for its intense purpose. And you said something that, that grants are, grants go on a cyclical basis and they are applied for in uh, like uh, April or May. That's correct. And Wells County is one of how many to receive this? Do you have an uh, idea? I think in the state of Indiana, we've uh, had a total of uh, about five. Okay. So Wells County is probably one of five. Okay. Good enough. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Wednesday afternoon, the Arts, Commerce, and Visitor Center. I'm here with Diane Johnson. And Diane, your, your title now with the, um, uh, with the chamber is? I'm the Economic Development Project Manager. Okay. You were the one who handled the paperwork. Anthony right. spoke very right. highly of you at the ceremony a little no. bit ago. Uh, tell me what tell me what we've got in hand right now. Okay. Uh, well, we received a grant um, from the USDA, yeah. which means you know we don't owe anybody that that money belongs to um, economic development to be used for a revolving, revolving loan fund. Um, what we like to do is, is you know it's kind of targeted at the innovators, entrepreneurs startup business or you know emerging businesses um, once they've gone through the normal stream for finances you know the normal uh, go to the banks and things like that um, if, if they've been kind of cut off in, the, in those avenues this is where they would want to come and apply for us or if they they need a, they've got that but they need a little bit extra mm -hmm. um, for this then, I believe Anthony mentioned yes, gap funding gap and fund, is, yes, is the term yes, he used yes. Uh, and how, uh, give me the nuts and bolts on that. How does it work? Okay. Well, they would uh, fill an application um, with, with Wells County Economic Development. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a loan committee, um, which is made up of uh, some of the board members from our revitalization board, okay. board of directors. Um, uh, we've got, you know, mostly people that, that deal with finances. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have... You know, a couple, you know, CPA, and we have a, a, a bank president that's on that committee. We also have some business people, too. Um, so, you know, try to get a rounded group um, to, mm -hmm. to look and, and review these loans and make those approvals. They will be the ones that make the approvals for the loan. And it's it's fifty thousand dollars of revolving loan fund. That right. means it, it's paid out as it's paid back. Right. It goes back to someone else. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's the whole idea. Is you know, it'll be a lower interest rate probably shorter terms so that we can keep that money going and get it through the community and then again of course that will, will mm -hmm. build. Yeah. Is there is there a, 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 an amount that's generally targeted? I mean I don't suppose one person is going to absorb the entire 50000 No, uh, Probably maybe around ten. Okay. $10,000 probably. Okay. To start. Thank you much. You're welcome.